Now, we're saying if you repent and believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, you could have eternal life. Not just in in the when you leave this life, you'll be okay. have your sins forgiven. Now, what, what I want to know is there's an invisible man a million miles above our head that controls everything in our life. Are you out of your mind? Faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation to every one that believeth, to the Jew first and also to the Greek. So what we see in God is that there is no respect of persons as well as one is another are all going to stand at the judgment of God. Just because I don't want to step on your toes. We want to talk to people. You yeah. want to talk to people. I got no problem with you guys being out here, but I just think out of like mutual respect, we should probably like well, we both be more effective. I feel I'm not really here for effectiveness. I'm not here for money. I'm not here to get people to my church. I'm here doing a a responsibility for God. We want people to hear. So you. right. So yeah. we're not really. So not you know, we you. don't make negotiations with people if where we should be or where we shouldn't be. We have a total different. Um, um, you know, ministry than you, oh, yeah, and uh, to be honest with you, it's not that I don't mind to go over. It's just I don't really feel led to go over there today. Okay. So. Well, I'm going to then. Okay. Oh you yeah, know, that's just, fine. That's fine. I'm just trying to be respectful. Right. No, that's fine. But even if you weren't, I mean, I'm just saying. You know, Most people I'm. People don't like the preaching. It's, yeah. More, so I, I understand, understand what you're saying. Whatever. I, I, I mean, get I, what you're you know, saying, but I. But you know, I have gone over there before. But like I said, I felt led to go over there. I don't. I feel like this is where I'm going to be today. So. You know, I mean, I appreciate you know, whatever. But I'm just letting you know that we don't. You know, normally we don't like. Because a lot of people don't like what we do, period. So we don't make negotiations with people. I mean, if you don't like that we're here, right, you could move. And if we don't like that you're here, we can move. But we're not. I'm not going to negotiate with you about it. Okay. You know, I mean, if there was like a public safety concern with the police or something like that, you know, we wouldn't, you know, make arrangements. But just because you're doing your thing today and we're doing our thing, you know, I just that's not my mission. So. I appreciate your concern. Mm -hmm. So as appointed unto men wants to die, but after this comes the judgment. See, we have the business of uh, spiritual concerns today. We're not here for business. We're not here to please people. We're here to warn you. We're, it's not even we have like something that you're doing in this community and we're doing something else. We're warning you of things to come that you're going to be faced with a judgment of God someday and and this is what we need to do folks because we don't hear this in the world we don't hear it in the world that men are going to die and go to hell they need eternal life and and just like you know I was talking to this gentleman just now you know, I understand, very nice man, but if the world could get us to stop altogether, they would, folks, because we've been doing this for a long time. You know, it's, it is time for other people to move on because you know what, folks, the bottom line is this is what's most important in the history of mankind today is... You receiving the gospel of Jesus Christ. Not if you receive it because you like the way we present it. This is the most important thing today. Is that you receive the Lord Jesus Christ. More than 2,000 years ago. More than 2,000 years ago. The Lord Jesus Christ came here. And they told him to move on. And, um, but what did they do when the Lord Jesus Christ didn't move on? They crucified him on a cross. That's where we're coming to, folks, too. Everything is uh, respectable for this person, respectable for that person, except for somebody that stands for the faith of Jesus Christ. So, 
Today, folks, repent and believe you have a, an appointment with God. It's appointed unto men once to die, but after this comes the judgment. And uh, while most people's eyes are on the vaccine coming out and thinking, oh, this great thing that's going to heal everybody, in the long run, folks, it's going to bring more disease on people. But nobody's seeking God. Nobody's seeking the righteousness of Jesus Christ, the Lord Jesus Christ. And God Almighty called for uh, repentance. Healing would come from repentance, men turning from their wicked ways. And that is the only hope for man, that they will repent, that they will believe the gospel, because the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent. Believe the gospel. The kingdom of God is at hand. It doesn't kill anybody. Kill doesn't do anything. I'll give you one verse that talks about that. Romans 5.12. Because of one man's sin, because of one man's sin, sin entered into the world and death by sin. God didn't bring forth sin. Man did. Okay. So, and that's why. So God didn't woman, kill the baby. Hold on. When a woman carries a child to full term and that okay. child dies, All right. God's Now, plan. why would you be smoking cigarettes, harming your body, I do. right? I'm okay, but I'm, I'm giving you kind of like a, a double-edged sword on what you're saying. So. God's mercy, How about you answer my I already did. Romans 5.12, because of one man's sin entered into the world and death by sin. Because sin, because man didn't obey God, sin came into the world. And death came, that's why. God didn't kill the baby, death killed the baby that man brought in. Go ahead, read it and go start reading in the book of Genesis. That's right, because God's mercy. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. And I'm now 55 and I'm still here and you've had so much mercy on me. Thank Thank you, Lord Jesus. But that's yeah, how I handle that. This is how you react to people. You don't. Yeah, listen. I'm. No, I did listen to you. You asked a question, I answered, and you won't receive it. Receive what? The, the answer that I gave you. Gets cancer. That's man's it's, sin. Yes. What? Yes. How in the fuck yes. Did you say that? God made man to live forever. But not a two-year-old child with cancer. No. Before this even happened, even thousands of years before that. Hold on. No. A two-year-old child deserves to die of cancer? Is that what you're saying? No, me? I didn't say that. I well, said that because saying? of sin, that child dies. God didn't bring forth. That's right. Everybody has a day that they were born and a day that they die. A two-year-old child with cancer deserves I just told die. you. No, I didn't say they deserve to die. But, but that's how life... That's, that's right. Now you're getting it. How now you're getting sin? it. How did he sin? Because God gave him a command to say, don't do this. And he did that. And what God said, in the day that you sin, this will come upon you. And that's what happened. And now so that's death, why we're here thousands of years to later. Death to children. because Death to all men, correct. not to the children. Death to all men. Death came upon I'm, I'm all men. I didn't say it not. doesn't matter. I'm talking about the whole human race. Oh, it doesn't matter what age you are. Sin will affect all people yeah, me, because of sin, more. because they're tainted blood, the mother and their father. Okay, let me run one more by you. My wife's mother was struck with Alzheimer's and Parkinson's. Hold on, let me finish. Struck with Alzheimer's and Parkinson's. Bedridden for 20 years. Didn't get to see her grandchildren. Didn't know that her only daughter was married. Is that yes. man's sin? Yes, it is. Because what what brought about what did they, when did dementia and Alzheimer's take place? What do they got going on in the world today? It's a disease. No, it's right, disease. but when did it come? When did it come? It came with sin. That's right, yes. And non cheating committed so, mother. Okay. You could have eternal life by repenting and you could have life eternal. You gotta blame that on the devil, not God. I'm gonna see the devil. Guaranteed. You gotta you gotta blame the devil, not God. You know who brings forth death? The devil. He was a murderer from the beginning. That's all your the two year old baby that has cancer, your mother in law. It's the devil that did that, not God. God wants you to have life eternal. And that's why what we're preaching here right now. We're saying if you repent and believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, you could have eternal life. Not just in, in the when you leave this life, you'll be have your sins forgiven. 
What, what I want to know is, there was an invisible man a million miles above our head that controls everything in our life. Are you out of your mind? Faith cometh by hearing, and hearing there, by the word of God. The just shall live by faith. We don't live by sight. Well, because you're say, but the same no. as someone could have a conversation with you. I say there's not an invisible man up there that controls every. He's single not invisible. Is he's just not he's seen alive. to your? Yes. He's alive. Yes. He's floating up in the clouds. Yeah, in the Lord Jesus Christ. You know, He said, "We serve well, not a God of when, the dead, but a God of the living." Everything I say, you won't even let me answer. So it's not me, sir. It's when, you. When did you snap? When, 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 when did I snap? Every time you open your mouth to say something, I give you an answer, but then you say I'm not listening to you. It's an answer that you don't receive. That guy is up there floating. No, he's God. He, he's going he's, he's gonna to be... Where is he physically? Physically, he's in heaven. He came... Yeah. I don't happen to see heaven from here. Well... He's in his word right here. He's the word of God. He's here. You want to know who he is? You want to know who he is? His character? Okay, well, this, now we're getting somewhere. I never have. But now we're getting somewhere. This is what it all boils down to. Not what I believe. It's what you believe. And that's why we're out here. It's what you're doing. Do you think any of these people give a flying fuck? Well, yeah, see, that's not that's not our responsibility, sir. Our responsibility is to tell them. Stand on a corner and preach. Yes, Why? because that's, that's a command of the Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. If they believe, it will. Jesus said, "If any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away." There is no such thing. Okay, well, and I'm gonna see Beelzebub, and we're gonna sit. Well, if you don't believe in God, how can you believe in Beelzebub? I know where I'm going. Where are you Since going? Since I committed, I'm not going to a good place. But why? Because I'm a piece of shit. That's why. Well, now you have to repent of that. It ain't going to work. 